Minecraft has changed the game forever. And if you want to play it, today I'm going to teach you how to do so. As you can see here, Minecraft has added actual baby animals to the game. I know it's getting dark, I know it's getting creepy, but the only creepy thing is, is the bug eyes of this sheep. Actually, this one's kind of cute. There was a brown one I saw earlier and it was kind of creepy looking. So today, yes, Zealoth Launcher, Java Minecraft players that want to learn how to test out the new snapshot number two and see all these baby animals, then this is the video for you. Let's jump in and learn how to set this up. So the very first step after you subscribe to the channel, of course, like I said just there, is you're going to download the zip file that is linked in the description of the video. You're going to go into the zip file and extract this file right here that ends in .xz. Go like this, extract to, and I would extract it into your documents folder, for example, just like so. As you see here, I already have it extracted and it's already in there. So I'm going to just extract it into another folder um, just so that you guys can see this. Good. Okay, that's where I'm going to extract it into my good folder. Now again, make sure that you've extracted the correct fold file. Don't just change the zip file name or anything like that. I've actually compressed this into a zip properly so that you can actually get the proper JRE, which is right here. Now what you're gonna do is open up Zaleth Launcher, go to your settings, go to launcher settings, check for updates. I'm on version 1.4.1.2. And then you're going to go home and you're going to install a new version. If you don't know how to do this, then maybe check out my video that teaches you how to set up Zaleth Launcher properly, which is linked in this playlist in the description of the video. Now go to Snapshot Builds. If you don't see Snapshot 2 here, you need to clear the cache. So basically just exit out of Zaleth Launcher, long press, app info, go to storage, clear cache, and then try again and see if it actually loads. And then make sure you check your internet settings as well. And there's Snapshot 2 showing up and just click download. Don't download any fabric instances or anything like that. I haven't tried fabric or forge or anything yet for this version. So if it doesn't exist, then maybe that's why. But anyways, so click on the Snapshot 2. And now you're going to click on the settings icon on the top right hand side. You're going to go to game settings. You're going to scroll down until you see something called runtime environment manager. Click on that. Now you're going to click on import runtime environment. Go to your documents, go to good, and then import that runtime right there. Now I found this runtime on GitHub. I'm going to put the original link in the description of the video as well for you to go find it, but I'm just sharing it so it's easier for you just to use it and now you're going to launch the game. And here we go. Now, I highly recommend you to set up your video settings. I'm going to change my frame rate to 60 just because I know this device is decent enough to handle that at a stable frame rate. I'm gonna change my chunks to seven, eight, whatever. This device is pretty good. It's an Odin 2, by the way, for anybody that wants to know. Uh, smooth lighting, I'm gonna keep that off. Entity distance, I'm gonna keep it at 100 because that's what we're here for. See through leaves, turn that on. And I think that's about it for improved transparency. Menu background blur, turn that off as well. Um, entity shadows, you can turn that off if you want to. If you're messing with entities, turn it off. I highly recommend you to do that. Otherwise, full screen mode, turn that on. That's about it. Now we're just gonna go into a creative world and check out all the animals that we can actually spawn in. And I'm going to just use the good old classic way of breeding animals with a creative world which is just as i can see here now we're already in the wrong areas that i don't want to be in anyways is just basically <laughs> breeding them with seeds and bone meal i haven't checked out all the animals yet but if you want me to do a playthrough or play this for a bit let me know in the comment section below if not then what do you think about the new animals do you think they're awesome do you think they're funny looking what do you think i want to look for seeds you can tell I don't play creative mode very much or even at all because I don't. Uh, there's the seeds right there. Okay, now we got to go find some animals. Let's see where we can go here. And we got some chickens. All right. And we already have a baby chick. Look at that chick. Oh, yeah. Look at that chick. Okay, let's go. Chicken, chicken, bake a baby. What kind of chicken are you going to make? The one that looks like you. Awesome. Let's go check out some other animals. Wonder if they did parrots. All right, we got white chickens. They make yellow chicks, I think. But oh! Yeah, more chickens. I think the chicken ones look fun. I don't know about the other ones. That's all up for you to decide. Let's do a cow and a sheep. There we go. What, are, what happens when we get a black and brown one? And there's the baby cow. There is the baby sheeps. Have fun, guys. Go enjoy playing the new snapshot or wait until it releases. But now you can use the proper Java 
25, which is Jerry, for your runtime. Have a nice day. Don't forget to subscribe and have some fun with some hay. It's actually wheat, but yeah, let's 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 have some fun with some babies. That that sounded really weird too.